whole squad on the mission. You got to listen. We pull politic in. It's so dope when it kick in. That you can get in where you fit in. We straight pull politic in. The whole squad on the mission. You got to listen. You know what this is. When we pull politic in. My money long like the vision. I proposition to put a fist in. We straight pull politic in. Hey, yo, I rise like the sun in the east. Running the streets. Same people that was coming in peace. Some in the beast on the microphone. It's never a long and hard task. For God, I'm gonna smash they blog and podcast Introduction to journalism 101 With federal pole politicking by where I'm from And what I do, what's up, it gotta be good Interviewing everybody, you know they probably could Take all the blood, sweat, and tears Working all them years Putting in 10,000 hours, it empowers careers From the baby and Megan the Stallion And Yo Gotti, high as a kite Jet life, currency in the party With MC Life, J Prince said I rap a lot Super Saiyan Black Kagarot With a Macintosh laptop Top in my Apple Watch, smoking Fraggle Rocks. Four eyes got more lines and hooks than a tackle box. What? The whole squad on the mission, you got to listen. We pull politic in, it's so dope when it kick in. You can get in where you fit in. We straight pull politic in. The whole squad on the mission, you got to listen. You know what this is when we pull politic in. My money long like the vision. I proposition to put a fist in. We straight pull politic in. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self-help news, hip-hop. Check us out on Twitch, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, where we listen to podcasts. One, two, one, two, I'm the place to be. Got some of Reagan era people up in here. I got I got Halo and I got Dios. What's good, what y'all? What up, what up? Yeah, what's happening with you? How y'all doing today? What's going on? Man, chilling, man. Same old, same old, man. Different day, man. Right. Hope these Lakers win tonight. Oh. How long y'all been Lakers fans? Since all I was all born. my life. <laughs> all my life. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta give old boy his props, man. He did some good ass trades. Who? Yeah, man. Oh, the coach. Polinka. Polinka. Yeah, yeah. He did some good trades. Them trades worked. Shit, that, we was looking bad till them trades went through. They had to get they had to get Westbrook ass out of there, man. That nigga's crazy, man. Man, don't talk about Westbrook, man. I'm telling you, he fucked up the war. Uh, uh, Clippers. When they, when he was with them motherfuckers, he the rat. Uh, the nigga with the beard. Thunder. All the, Thunder. They was yeah. all together. They was already a winning team. He fucked that shit. Mm. He just he just a fuck up. Fuck. <laughs> how, how, long, how long y'all been knowing each other? Oh man, that's my, my cousin, cousin, man. My first blood, man. Oh, so pretty much. We was, like, yeah, we was we was raised together. So you know, oh, okay. That's his dope. pops, his pops, my mom's uncle. Rest in peace. Uh his pops. But yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. So we always grew up close. All right. So uh, I guess just talk about how y'all got y'all probably fell into music together. So just talk about, you know, y'all background in music and how y'all came about, you know, doing music together. Low did music. Low, you know, he he's older than I was. So low is good. Low can lead into that. He 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 set the foundation for me pretty much. You know, uh I always been in the hip hop. I mean I started way back in the day in the fifth grade. Like I said, I was an LA breaker in the fifth grade. So a Pico and Catalina, you know uh, doing shows since the fifth grade. Then in high school, I was always part of like the hip hop dances and the little battles and uh, uh, started venturing out to, uh, it was, I was around a lot of MCs that was dope. And uh, I kind of just laid back in the cut and then being around them so much, I started rhyming. Guns, Guns was rhyming. <laughs> and Guns actually was rapping way before, I don't know how much longer, but he already knew raps. I wouldn't even, I wasn't even tripping off rap. I was running around older, just, you know, uh, living life, doing karate, uh, LA break it, you know, battling niggas on the cardboard. Guns already knew how to rap way back then. So, uh, you know, we we, we kind of went our separate ways and would always come back. I mean, we cousins, so we didn't really have to uh, 
prove nothing to each other. You know what I mean? So we we always was around each other, whether I was doing stuff with uh Funky Town Pros, rest in peace to my boy uh boy Wonder from the Funky Town Pros, um, my boy Devious, uh Denali Voorhees, uh I was around some dope MC, so I just picked up the habit and uh fell in love with it. But I always been in the hip hop, uh, you know, straight out the LA streets. Hey, real talk, he he was the first person, he gave me um a high roll seat, a tape or something back in the day. Remember that? You was oh, yeah, doing yeah, some yeah. Funky Town Pro. He put me on a high roll. No, nah, no, nah, I was said, working for the little label. I was working for that little label, and they would give me uh it was like 200 bucks a week. I would have to go drop off, uh, like, uh, it was like hieroglyphics and Delta Funky Homo Sapien, all the um, hip hop underground stuff. I would have to go make, uh, get into the clubs. And <laughs> that was my thing. So I love going to the dance battle. So I had the, you know, the, the cassettes and uh, CDs and uh, posters and I would get in free in the clubs and go promote it. And then I would go off into the battle after I promoted it and gave everybody passed everything out. And I would go into the hip hop battles, you know what I mean? Like Hollywood Live and Joshua and uh, Apollo and uh, Palladium. We was everywhere, you know. Me and my boy Manslaughter, we was at all the clubs battling. So, uh, shout out Manslaughter, salute. Yes, sir. Um, so, it's just always been, it's just culture. I mean, it's just always been around, always been in. You know. Actually, who started it, it might have been his pops and my uncle. Exactly. They was, they was singing on, um, um, what's those things called? The, not a dats, but the uh, a tracks. A tracks. They was already singing back then. You know what I mean? Already had their whole little. So we always been around music. You know, that's that's not you no. Know, it's just part of our culture. You know, it wasn't even like uh, it's just ordinary. It's not like even like I was chasing something. It's just a regular day. You know, hip hop. It's in my veins. Yeah, I was saying. Um, it looked like our last interview we did was December twenty twenty. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, that ain't, that ain't too yeah. bad. That's only three years. Yeah, that shit be going by quick, though. Quick, man. It seemed like it was last year. That's what I was telling you. I thought it was last year. <laughs> I did, too. Yeah, it be moving, man. Life be going by fast. It don't wait for nobody, man. Hey, you grew a whole beard, Pope. I be a beard. I got, I got like, dreads, too, man. Yeah, yeah, you went wild, man. You got crazy out here, man. <laughs> yeah, I got a little... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, but, yeah, big up. Selassie eye, man. So what y'all got going on right now? Shit, we just parlaying right now. Um, we dropped the the Black House album, um, independent still, but this one, this time around, we we went um on all platforms. We got we got some uh tutelage, I would say, from shout out to Dre, Malik and them, uh Angelo. We had some older OGs kind of come and sit us down and talk with us, kind of set us back for like a year, we just trying to get everything <laughs> yeah, got, together, you know what I mean? But it we, got a, we got a couple of boomerangs thrown our way, but we, you know, we still rose to the occasion. Yeah, it was, it was all beneficial at the end of the day. Here we are now, you know what I mean? We moving, we got dope you product. About, y'all talking about boomerangs with like the business, or what, how y'all, what y'all talking about? Uh, yeah, just business, man. We had a couple um, little deals offered our way, and then uh as soon as that happened it was just things started changing you know how you know that's how the game is that's the game of life things aren't always promised so so we decided just man we're gonna do it ourselves we waiting on this person and that person we just gonna put it together ourselves how about that and we'll see what happens because we already good we chilling like we ain't we ain't like thirsty starving even when we full we're gonna stay hungry though but we ain't out here suffering we just we like, man, let's just try to put it together ourselves because depending on people, um, you know, that's always a battle and a challenge. Right. So, and then what's the, what's, so what would you say the goal is as far with the uh, Reagan Air record? Well, we loaded up, man. We got some albums loaded up, man. So we got some, we got, we got, uh, we got more than a couple albums already done. We got our solos. So we just gonna keep going, man. It's just, like I say, it's just like breathing. It's just part of our culture. We just going. It's kind of like, um, ain't no ceiling. We just going up. And and I, I like when you mentioned like a goal. I, I feel like to solidify our stamp in this shit in in this hip hop joint. Like you know what I mean? Like like a Rockefeller records, a a Death Row records, a Bad Boy records. 
we feeling like we coming with that kind of intensity and, and what we doing. So we, we taking the stairs versus the elevator. So I just feel yeah. like it's, it's taking us a little bit longer to fine tune certain things, but that's the end game. You see what I'm saying? It, uh, the actual, actual end game will be when y'all walk into a Reagan era records casino. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's where I'm at with it. I'm, I'm way out. We just got the, we just, it took us four years. It was a fight with the, with the uh, United States trade post office people, however that shit is. It was a fight with them all these years. Just this year, bro, we got the whole package. We got the, we control that. You know what I'm saying? We can, we could go after anybody that say Reagan era records, nigga, or Reagan era, whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, we own that, and that's legit official. Well, it probably, it probably was uh, what because of the president. That's probably why it was. Nah, it's probably because we was niggas, and they don't want niggas. That's what he's saying. Like, yeah, it's something you know. Hey, it's always a glitch in the system, though. Somewhere down the line, yeah, it'll never be known why, but it definitely was an obstacle to get over. The glitch was we was born black, motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Same difference. Right. But yeah, man, we uh we on some like entrepreneur type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the you know, make sure uh try to create some generation wealth. And uh it's touching all aspects, not just music, it's, you know, uh commercial buildings, uh trucks. We we touching everything. Anything we can get yeah. our hands on. I think I remember you talking about that last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, I'm still on it. it ain't man, I'm ten toes yeah. all the way on it. This time I got boots <laughs> on. Last time I had just ten toes on it. Now I got my boots on. Next is gonna be the laces. Uh -huh. Next time you see me, you might be in a helicopter. I don't know. I'm just going where, <laughs> where it take me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm still on it though, man. No, um, uh, just a driven goal, man. We got a doc. We got everybody got their own different goals, and we we collide. We you know we mesh with some of them and. Everybody's still doing their own thing, but at the same time, we all grown men taking care of family. So, you know. And we did it, man. Like again, like a lot of people sometimes explaining this Reagan ever shit kind of be get uh it gets a little redundant, but at the end of the day, like they was trying to take us out in the 80s. You see what I'm saying? They they allowed so many shit, the three strike laws, they let the crack, all this other shit was going through. We are the generate, we live through that, and it's us. Like now we we survived that shit. Niggas got kids going to college. We didn't did all everything they try to do to tear us down and break us. We survived it. That's why we took these motherfucking heads and cut them off, nigga. What do you? What do you? Back in the days, medieval times, you, you fucking conquer some shit. You cut the king head off, nigga, and you walk around with putting shit on a stick somewhere. We just put his head on our motherfucking hats and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. We got merch and we got more merch coming. We got um, we just we we tapping into everything. Like if the door if the door open or if it don't open, if it open, we walking through. If it don't, we busting it down. I was gonna ask you about like far because I said last time we talked was like three years ago. So right, what changes have you noticed in hip hop for, since twenty twenty to now? Well, I mean, you know, it's it's real fatty right now. It's real everybody killing everybody. Everybody. It's a fad to tell them what you're doing, and everybody's the, the everybody's the Al Pacino, and uh, niggas going to jail. Uh, but it, it depends on you know what you listen to, what kind of. You I mean there's all genres of music. You can tap into the underground. You can tap it, but as far as the main line, everything is like um, it's like sabotaging everything. Like for the most part, like everybody's. I mean, niggas is dying behind the music. That's crazy. I mean, they. I mean. Yeah, Biggie and Pac, but I'm saying it's like going to jail and and, and getting arrested behind it. Like it, it's kind of like the blind leading the blind to a certain circum, you know, to a in some situations. You know what I mean? I mean, you still got the hip hop heads, and I mean it's all hip hop. It's just people express themselves a different way. Nobody can put no title on the hip hop, but it's like. Um, power got is getting into the wrong hands sometimes and i ain't saying they shouldn't spit but some of it's just like ridiculous and redundant man. it's a lot of uh, chasing the dog's tail running in circles yeah the crazy part is sometimes i'll be, I be listening to the, i started listening to sirius xm and i'll be like god damn this is what they playing on radio it'd be like yeah 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 really yeah. really vulgar i remember back in the day you, shit, you remember that shit uh 
two line crew, how they was doing them, and they weren't even that's right. They weren't even like crew they, was saying. <laughs> they, 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 they talking about the rump shakers, and these dudes right here, they talking about, they talking about you know, the, un, the, the not supposed to be spoken part, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, we, 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 we touch on real life as well, but. It's not oversaturated, is what I'll say. Like some of this stuff is just like it's glorified, it's just oversaturated, but shit, you know. And then it, you see it leads by example. It, look, look where it leads a lot of them to. You know what I mean? These just get fed cases, Rico acts, um, shit killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you like, think, I yo? Mean, I wanna say, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, just to add on what Halo is on, like. It's, it's crazy, huh? It's <laughs> rare, but it, it's, you know what I mean? It's nothing new under the sun because it's been happening, though. Like, I think... Right, 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 right. We look at it today because we're looking at it today. But if you go back five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, it's been happening. It's been the same thing. Yeah, there's yeah. there's nothing... What's I mean, I think now it's more accessible with the right. internet and all of that. And you can have these things at your uh, disposal, but the shit is, it's always been happening. Niggas say to me, you know, they rapping about gold and chain. Niggas been doing that. Yeah, I mean, niggas been shooting, they been doing that in the records. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to me, what the only thing that's changed to me in the music is that they started taking our money even more and making music less valuable. That's what's happened with this streaming shit. You know what I mean? Like you pour your blood, sweat and tears, nigga. If, if you just record a song, right? You come out your pocket, you rent studio time, you do X, Y, and Z, and you make a song, you put it up on spot. They gonna charge you to put the shit up there. By the time you get your money back off of one song, yeah, unless you like fucking uh, Justin Bieber or somebody, I don't know who's popular right now, but. <laughs> You're going to have to go quadruple platinum off the single to make your little seven, eight, yeah, whatever thousand dollars back. You know, nigga, they, they planning, they running this music. They It shows generated and running off of the music from that you produced or whoever produced. And they only giving you nickels and dimes. That's what's changed. The, the value of your music has changed. Since right. the time y'all interviewed to now, it's gotten worse. That's what I see, and that's what I know. And it's like modern day slavery, man. It's just like uh, they just sit back. They like, man, they killing each other, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they just let they let me go. Who you think playing? Man? You think you think it's four brothers that got um, control of what's being played? Negative. There ain't no brothers on the main table that got anything to do with the music that's playing right now. Not one. Yeah. I you got was, some people. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just saying, I remember when I was coming up, like we had more like more conscious rap. I remember they was wearing right. chains. Yeah, the black, the black medallions. You yeah, know what I mean? All that shit. All that shit. <laughs> we ain't got none of that. Like, oh, we, always had, hey, like hey. We, had, we had a whole pocket of that kind of music and all that. Yeah. Was Yo, you, you talking about Mr. Window and them niggas, man. Yeah. Man, ah. Yeah, Every yeah, day, day people. Yeah. Rift development, Queen of Teeth. Right, right, right. KRS-One, right. yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of folks right. is rapping on that, on that too. Man, niggas keep saying KRS-One, man. I think me and KRS-One gonna have to have a talk. KRS-One was the first nigga I seen with a gun on the goddamn cover of the music. Oh, no, no, no. He he was, he nah. was, he had that my nine millimeter go bang too. He was, he was with it. He was with it. I fuck with Karis One. I understand no, Karis One is the teacher. Don't get me I wrong. Think, I, Karis One is ill, but I feel like niggas. Yeah, that nigga was fucking up no. too. Don't get it wrong. No, 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 no. Grow and elevate, like, but nigga, nothing, shit, that nigga was with the with, bullshit for a minute. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with the grimy and gritty. It's just that when they start taking it personal with each other, this dude don't even know this dude. They 40 states away from each other. 40 states away from each other. Well, on site, they trying to kill each other. Yeah, yeah you can rap about whatever you want to. Yeah. I'm talking about the realisticness of it when, come on, man, really dying about it. Like, now you really, like, you took the quality out of the music. Yeah, I was, I was going to say another thing about KRS-1, too. I think he kind of changed when his uh, friend got killed. Skylar Rock died. Right. Recipe, right. recipe, Skylar Rock. Yeah. He switched it. He toned down when he died. So I think that's what happened. Right, 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 right. 
Yeah, man. Well, hey, hey, death, death is real. Death is, yeah, death, yeah. death is a real part of life. You, you know, it's, uh, and that shit change. It will change your view. We doing it because we love to do it. You know what I mean? Like it don't run my world, but I still love the, I love the culture of it. You know what I mean? And I'm not no conscious rapper, or I'm talking about what I talk but about. But nigga, nah, wait a minute. You but are we are conscious, conscious. But you are conscious. To me, Halo. I don't know. I don't know. You conscious? I just to meant. Me. I meant. I meant in the in the, in the other way. Like people try to think like, oh, it's like you know, he ain't coming out. I, like it, I'm, it, it's no holier than thou shit going on uh, in the right, right, right. That part. Nobody, nobody's bigger than nobody. Yeah, you know I mean, if, if anything, we supposed to be some sort of example for a person to shape the negative out of they shit. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, I, I always said this. I always said this to myself. Yeah, man. I said, yo, if Tupac, rest in peace. If Tupac was to ever say, "Hey, man." I want to stop smoking. Something as simple as that. I want to stop smoking cigarettes. I don't know how many fans this nigga got, right? Let's say it's 20, let's say it's a million. Just be regular. He got a million fans. He's not going to reach a million fans, but for him to say, yo, man, I'm going to stop smoking, man. I'm trying to stop smoking. Y'all help me stop smoking. Maybe like 3%, 4% would, would and that's helping. If you can get somebody to change to a positive, one person, you've done right. your job. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and to me, I, like, when I think about motherfuckers being conscious and all of that, if you make somebody think, if your bar comes to somebody's head and they, if it make them change their thought or add on to it, you've done your job. As, as right, right. You know what I mean? And that's that. I don't, you know what I mean? Sure, other than that, I say, get drunk, nigga, party. Fuck it up, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. Yeah, we was kind of talking about, I was going to say, what y'all like to do outside of music? Oh, uh, man, I'm an extremist. I do it all. Dirt bike, motorcycles. This nigga yeah, might, this nigga might be on, on the hang glider. I'll go boxing. I'll do some UFC shit, some grappling. Uh, uh, go to the gym with my son. You know what I mean? I take my kids I ain't to fucking a, with none a lot of that sports shit. events. <laughs> Yeah, that's hey, why he said hey, you got. That's it. why I'm not at his house right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you see, I got the 29 inch, the fresh one. I can't, even, I can't show. It's a this nigga it's jumping. A, this nigga jumping off a wall. Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a little, I'm a little different, man. Wow. A little different. I'm in the cars, you know. You been uh, class. You been to that though. You be, you be doing like the. Uh, the what's the X Games and shit too? You be watching it? Yeah, he do. Oh, yeah, I watch all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I watch all that. Yeah, I fucking yeah, love might. Lodo. But yeah, you might catch me in like that. I you might catch me at a softball game. You might catch me. Nah, man, for real. Whatever. Let me, let me explain this real quick. Halo has always been on some other shit, bro. This nigga talked his moms and pops to letting him build a half pipe in the back of the crib, right? Mm. We we move from where we at. We kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Boom, they got the they got the crib downstairs. They're like, yo, y'all can rent downstairs. We moved downstairs, which was dope. It was the dopest feeling for me because Halo was always like my favorite cousin. You know what I mean? Nigga was always on some dope shit. I look out the back window, these niggas got a half pipe out there. And I'm like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I used to I used to watch the movie. Nigga, I used to go to the swap meet and get a sweep, a skateboard. Yeah, you know I mean, I only had like two, but they had the big thing on the back. I don't know what that big break. Yeah, it, it wasn't. Des, it wasn't designed. For it was the wrong studio. board. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching movies, gleaming the cube, and all of this, and I got this shit in my backyard. Um, it's all this nigga's fault though. Nigga, my pops is drunk. <laughs> nigga, I don't know if he drunk or high or whatever. He go out there and he say, he used to call me Hymas. He say Hymas. Why aren't you skating in that thing back then? I said, nah, dad, you know, you don't know about the drop in. I don't, I don't know the, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know the timing of the drop in. I don't know that. I, you know what I mean, yeah. he said, he said, don't be afraid of nothing. My dad is like six four, or whatever. I don't know. This is he's tall, skinny, light skinned. Like he go up there, he take my skateboard with the stopper on the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He line up, he line up on the joint. He say, Hymas, he look at me and say, don't ever be a scared to do nothing. Bing, he, he go down and just fucking continues to do a head roll <laughs> down the ramp, up the other side. Nigga got thorns and shit. What's the splinters all in his back? Yeah. 
Nigga like, ah, ah. He yelling this yeah. shit on the ground. I got to call my moms and shit. But he said, at the end of the day, don't be afraid, nigga. Just get up there and do it. You see me, nigga, yeah. I got to go to the hospital. <laughs> hey, that's but a real conversation, man. <laughs> That's real though. You know, hey man, I've always been different, man. I grew up with the taggers, skaters, and gangbangers, man. And the hip hop heads and mixed it all in one. It was a gumbo pot. Real shit. And it was super cracking by my house. It's still cracking <laughs> by my pop's house. You know what I mean? No. Super popping. But uh yeah, man, I like to do it all, man. You know, and hang with the family though. That's 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 most important though. My kids, you know, wife and all that. And then, you know, I get my little fun in too, you know, get on. 29 inches, hit some willies. And, you know, my son out there shooting basketball right now. Well, hey, look, this nigga was riding around with a motorcycle. Me and Skrill was in, at hey, rest in peace, <laughs> JJ. We was in JJ's garage. JJ always, like, he was managing us, so he was trying to get us together. Halo pull up on the motorcycle. This nigga was always crazy. Like, he was doing some dangerous shit all the time. Fuck, the half pipe is gone. Now, this nigga grown, he riding around motorcycle. This nigga had bullet holes in the face mask of the motorcycle. I'll never forget this shit. So we he come in the back. He like, yo, what's up? What y'all niggas doing? And we like, oh, I'm I, I'm happy. We rapping over. Um, we only had a couple records that JJ had, and we was rapping over um LA LA. We we had the, the fucking CNN shit. I don't know how the fuck he got that or however. But we was rhyming over that. This nigga Halo pulls up and tells me and Skrill, he go, he listens to the record. He say, yo, y'all niggas sound like y'all from Wu-Tang. I'm out of here. Get back on the motorcycle and zip the fuck out. <laughs> and no disrespect to Wu-Tang, but we on, the West. <laughs> we on the West Coast, man. You know. I was going to ask y'all who some of y'all favorite, y'all. Give me y'all top five list. Top five? Yeah. Man. Lo, who you got? Who you got? You go first, Lo. Top five? Like, I, I like, I like, I mean, I like a bunch of different, I, my shit's gonna be crazy. I like, I like the nigga Kevin Gates. I like, uh, I like J. Cole. I like, uh, I like Nip shit. Um, uh, I, <laughs> I like, uh, what's my nigga name? Ah, uh, uh, my nigga crazy from New York, too. What's his name? Can't even think of a nigga name. Nigga, your shit sound absurd. <laughs> my my list? Yeah, your list sound absurd. I like, hey, I, I fuck with Kendrick. I mean, I I, I just like dope MCs, man. I got a, I ain't got like really no favorite. I just like E40. You know what I'm saying? I like niggas that's that's knocking, that's hot. Jay Z's dope. You know what I mean? I like. Um, but you only get five, nigga. Wait a minute. Nah, I, nah. I'm. That's what I'm saying. Mine can't go five because I'm. I got different. You know. <laughs> that's the rules. On, on Sunday, Sunday night, I might. You know, Saturday night, I might feel a different way rolling down the block. You know, I. I, I it varies though. You know what I mean? Uh, I remember. Oh, I, you know what? I'm tripping. I, I Conway them, Benny them. Um, shit, I didn't name the boss. Everybody, um, you about eleven right now. <laughs> All right, well, and I and I'm waiting on one. Go ahead, tell them which ones you like, but it's another one in my head. That's yeah, on me. I'm going. I'm going on my man. I'm going on pole right now. What's up, man? Who you oh, got? You. Oh, you who I got? Uh, yeah, then I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow up after you. My list ain't like it might be weird to people, but I like uh, I like Jada, I like Cameron, I like Az. Uh, I like Nipsey too. And I'm gonna put Lil Wayne up there. Oh, yeah, Lil Wayne too. That's what I'm saying. It's different levels. Like, Jada uh, is dope, hey, man. I can't remember everybody, but uh, shit. But the money. I would do the same for you 200 times, my nigga. Look, oh. hey, man, y'all niggas. I still is like the right soul. Now. I still like the Souls of Mission, nigga, 93 Phil Infinity. Souls of Mission, uh, dope, nigga. OPO is crazy. Always OPO. Hey, my boy Larry June. Larry June, that nigga hard pseudo. He's on some real chill. Depending on what mood I'm in, man. Yeah. Every day ain't no battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Well, well wait a minute though. So you said some. You said something, Paul. You said the 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 first the last name before the last name before you said Wayne. You said somebody else. Mm. What he said, Jada. 
Nah, Poe said somebody before. I said Jada. I said AZ. I said uh, Cameron. Yeah. I said Nip. Cameron. Nip. And no, no, Cameron is. But Cameron is hard, nigga. And Cameron and is my nah. favorite. Like, and, he's like hey. my favorite. Everybody. Cameron. Hey, Cameron is dope. Uh, uh, Jules yeah. and the whole squad of Dipset. That's what I'm saying, man. I can't. I can't put it in five. I ain't the. Nigga, Jim Jones didn't figure out how to rap on beat till fucking nine years ago. Stop the <laughs> bullshit, nigga. I'm tired of this niggas with this felony. Jim Jones didn't learn how to rap on beat till about nine years ago, nigga. And that's well, well, you don't, my you, mama, nigga. You don't have to pick Jim Jones, you damn I fool. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I like well, Jim Jones shit but, now. But that, that's that's why you don't tell me you don't hey, go know ahead. Me. No, no, shut up. Yeah, what's your, your little five? Watch, he yeah. gonna be on some uh fucking. Go ahead. Hey, okay, okay, y'all ready? Nope. Y'all ready? It's gonna be some people ain't nobody heard of. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, the niggas that <laughs> I pick, the the five niggas I pick, are serve the five niggas y'all pick. If it ain't the same people, I picked yeah. eleven, nigga. So how you gonna say? No, he, he got Wu Tang over there. That nigga said, you no, know nigga. Red Man, go number ahead. one. Red Man. Oh yeah, Red Heart. That's not that's not my number number one, but I'm gonna go with Red Man. I know Red Man to crash out on niggas. Yeah, yeah. After Red, oh, uh, let me let me let me release my shoulders. I'm going with Black Thought. After Black Thought, I'm going mixtape Lil Wayne. After Lil Wayne. You gotta come on, man. Look, look, whatever the culture is. Hey, man, whatever, say it. I'm you about to say Drake. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. I, I like Drake too. Drake is, I, cool. yeah, Drake is dope. Don't get me wrong. I'm going technicality wise. You gotta give him. I don't understand how no, oh, I mean, man. I don't listen to Eminem every day. I'm just oh. saying, but for hey, him, we're, about to, we're about saying to the dopest the MC. He got the PC list going on. He just, oh, this dude right here, man. This dude. <laughs> I, I told Yo. you. My I gotta last, be different. My I gotta last, be different. The last spitter, nigga, the last nigga that I feel will cut anybody up in a battle type shit. Ah. That's different. You talk about battles. He just said, what MCs do you like? You right, talking yeah. about it's different genres, dog. It's battle. Oh, well, well, I we didn't that know that. I would have came with a whole nother list for that. Yeah, we would have killed your whole list. I would have bombed your whole list. Well, I didn't know that. I thought y'all was saying like, who, yeah. Who's the best rapper? No, well, go ahead, go ahead, because I ain't heard nothing crazy. Well, that changes my shit. Yeah, we was talking about who. Uh, you hey, are. and oh, I, 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 hey, see, that's what I'm saying. I mess with corrupt. I can't. I can go. I got it. Corrupt I can't is an animal. Corrupt is a fucking. I animal. got Corrupt is corrupt is dope, though. Y'all be watching I the battle rap. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my I'm boy fucking. Jack. Hey, shout Jack out to and, uh, Gotti, Jack. Yeah. West Coast yeah. niggas getting it in. I've been saying what I noticed about hip hop right now too. It seems like it's like way it's like a, a a female rapper wave right now. I, it's like more new female rappers, yeah. guy rappers to me. That's what I'm noticing. Yeah, because they rock in the clubs. You know what I'm saying? That URL, they they getting them paid on the side, but these these female rappers, they you know. What you talking about? You talking about the little curly haired girl, uh, Annie, Ice Annie, Spice. Orphan Annie, shit, Ice Spice. It's a yeah, lot, yeah. but that's the it's thing, like. Most of them sound the same, but you got like, so you got a gorilla, she got her own sound, you got ice spice, but then what's the, only, what's but the one with the no what, what's girl. the one that got the uh the, the girls just players too? That's that's old boys. Daughter. Only Ray, yeah, but Benzino daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, Benzino daughter, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they kind they making their way. They, I think yeah, they're nah. dudes right now. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Salute to them and keep doing it. I wish, um, I wish that they would reach out to people like MC Light and mm -hmm. and, and, and uh uh Moni in the middle type shit like you know and go back Heather B's it's it fucking like I know Heather B got a job or whatever the fuck she doing yeah you know I mean yeah. like in, incorporate some of them the people that started that for the ladies you see what I'm saying yeah that'd be dope N hey, niggas get on and forget Everything they came from, and that's no, nah, but they, that, man, that's so far from them. They, it's, it's, it's so far, but it's only yeah. as far as you let it get. Yeah, because oh. all they gotta do is, I mean, it really ain't that far because all you gotta yeah. do is get one of their samples and flip it, and then you basically right, right. Hey, 
You got to like hit. Like, oh, girl, with the, because girls is players too. That's yeah. it's, it's killing them. Then, oh, girl, uh, the same thing with uh, Mulatto when she did that Mariah Carey song. Right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, want to talk about you Mulatto. Want, that's another one. Mulatto too. Mulatto so definitely. Maybe trying to. Where, hey, where the fuck is Taquita at? Does anybody know where Taquita is? Right behind you, nigga. Oh. <laughs> no, no, the fuck you <laughs> <laughs> you ain't nigga look like that. Hey, hey, no, but I can't remember this dude, man. I'm sorry. It's just got my brain on froze right now. Hey, but no, hold up. Where is uh Ladybug from Diggable Planets? I, the... I actually interviewed the guy from Diggable Planets. The one it's that you date. Which one, motherfucker? It's the one that you could date her. Whichever one that was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to look up his name right quick. Let me see. Doodlebug? Yeah. Doodlebug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butterfly. That one. Was that it butterfly? Dude? Hey, dude, dude, I'm gonna tell you though. Hey, the, 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 uh, she was ill. What's the what's she the girl that used to before Hill, nigga? Nah, they slept on the girls that used to rap. Uh, dude, uh, I'm talking about the, the two. What? Who? Nah, it was like five of them. Five footers. Five footers, Not the the five five footers man. Killer. Five footers. Yes. They slept on them though. They didn't. They didn't get the. You know. It could have been more. You know, we ran into them in the grocery store one time and shit. And they were super cool. Yeah, hey, that's the home girl, that, man. Love. Hey, let's not front though. Let's let's keep it real. Medusa, Medusa been bald. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, then speaking super of that, dope. Yeah, um, JJ Fag, cause you know they said basically that's how NWA. Um, that's how basically how Ruthless blew up because Super Solid was their first hit. So once that song blew up, they were able to do other stuff. So right. He never had right. super funny. We probably wouldn't have had NWA. Right, right, right. Them, nah, I don't believe that. Them niggas would have robbed something. They would have got some money. <laughs> yeah. NWA would have existed. Nah, your boy Easy was already getting bread, though. That's what's cold, though. They, oh, yeah, they, they would have did something. I believe that 100%. Hey, what's my boy name, man? He older, though, man, from New York, though. On some real mafia. Cool G Rap. Cool G Rap. Hey, yeah, Cool G Rap. Yeah. Hey, Cool G Rap. Man, you yeah, still on the in the greatest nigga. You I think about Kuji. Hey. That's what people don't people be like talking about Nas. I be like, shit, that's that's the Kuji rap. No, Kuji rap. Ray, hey, Ray, Ray oh, Kwan hey, came hey. from Kuji rap. And Nobody. the other one, um, uh, but tragedy, I'm saying like tragedy, Gaddafi too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, Mob shout beat. out to I'm tragedy. Shout yeah. out to I tragedy. Forgot, I forgot about my B, but I used to rap to Kuji rap instrumental. I used to rap to Coogee Rap instrumental. I ain't even had no beats. I was thinking you're rapping the shit out of his instrumental. You was always, you was always on the West Coast, right? Yeah. Yeah, you liked them? I just, yeah, because I was dealing with the music, so I was getting different types of music that I never really heard on out here. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and then I grew, up with, I, of, I, I, I grew up around some dudes that was, uh, they was like real MC, so I couldn't even get in the booth. They wouldn't even let me in the booth. Yeah, I'm from you San Diego, but I was uh, born in, in Mississippi, but I've been in San Diego like 20 years. Oh, okay. oh you out of San Diego? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Word. Push your side. I used yeah. to be out there. We my shout out to uh Dante Moran. Nigga, he used to do Infernal Productions out there. Hmm. Yeah. And our cousin Steve lived out there. He's yeah, fighting. Steve, shout out to Muay Steve. Thai. Um, but yeah, I like that. I like it out there. Uh, I like that San Clemente part out there. I know it's a little yeah, before yeah, San Diego, yeah, but yeah. yeah, that's a little spot. I tried to go over there, you know, but I caught it too late. The wave already slashed. You know. All right. Then what y'all want to leave the listeners with? Hey, go check out that Ray man. That Black House. Check it out. We on oh, all plateaus, man. This time it's live. It ain't like you gotta search for it. You can find it right there on your phone. I know yeah, that. we 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 kept it. We kept it. Uh, we kept it more nostalgic the first time. This time it's everywhere. Y'all can go get it everywhere. Type in Reagan Air Records. Just Google the shit, and it's gonna it's gonna pop up, man. It's, it's some dope. It's something we comprise. And don't think this is it, though, nigga. We gonna be back. Pole politics yeah. next time. Nigga, drink you a Red Bull for the interview. Me, y'all, yeah, no. the interview. Hey. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, don't be yeah. y'all in the motherfucking yeah. interview, man. Right, yeah. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, he gonna need a half a thistle or something. Man. He gonna try to stay I mean, up, man. I'm, 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 I'm smoking some shit. I ain't used to smoking shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a little smoking shit. Smoke, that he's smoking that Reagan chronic. That's what yeah, yeah, hey, 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 though. We got that coming too, though. The Reagan strand, though. I'm working right. on that right now. Though. That's the problem, though. I'm, saying, I'm hey. just smoking hey. something I can keep going. I ain't used to smoking nothing that's going to put me to sleep. I'm like, shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you needed some, uh, you, yeah, you can't mess with that. That, that strong, strong, that sativa, man. That shit is, uh, how you waxed out. And don't mess with that dap, boy. That really got to hit you in the head with a bong. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know, man. I be feeling like people be, I saw, I saw one that yesterday. It was like a big ass bong. So dude stepped inside the bong. And then they wow. had like a floor, and it was just smoking them out. And I'm like, man, people be like, I can't. That's that's, that's, that's you trying that's to die, it. nigga. How high you want to get? Yeah, it's like, man, I just like enjoying it. I like it. Like, trying to it's shit. more like a plant, and I like. Hey, nigga, hey, nigga, you so high, your glasses look foggy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but check this out. When you out here, man, you ever in L.A., man? Anywhere in the Inglewood, South Central area, man, make sure you tap in. You got my number, and I'm gonna make sure you good. Right. Whenever you get out to LA, man, that's my word right there. Real shit. Hey, let, let me let me give a couple shout outs, nigga. Shout out to Poe Politic and number one for yeah. sure for having us on here. Uh Reagan Air Records, man. Chamber music. This is this is the chambers that we in right where well, I'm in right now. Um Skrill, uh, the, the whole Reagan squad, man. This is all of them niggas. Um, I really want to big up Chris the illustrator, see the illustrator. He does all of our graphics and, and all of this. He's responsible for the logo and shit like that. And um, after that, man, respect hip hop, man, and, and make dope shit. Stop bullshitting, nigga. If you're gonna get busy, hey. get busy. And in the same, in the same note, like <laughs> you better bring your best because we 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 knock your heads off. Like, we knock your heads off. <laughs> that mic oh, cord and booth. He coming in there with C4, like, for sure. But, you know, you'll hear it, you know. Yeah. You're going to demonstrate. Don't know. tell them, don't tell them too many times, bro. Let, let them let yeah. play if they want to play. Yeah. yeah and and we on the West. Hey, and we hey, on the West Coast. I don't I don't watch niggas back off of tracks, nigga. Uh, so, on some real shit, I don't watch some real niggas with real names back off of tracks. And it ain't for no nigga, whatever. It ain't none of that. Niggas already know we coming for the split act. Clap, clap, clap. You hear that? Sample that and put that in the thing. <laughs> put that in the shit. And have, Chris, have Kevin Hart do it. Them niggas them back, nigga, niggas be like, nigga, nah, I'm cool. Hey, matter of fact, Po, you heard the uh you heard the shit with, with me and RJ Payne. You know who RJ Payne is? Yeah, that's the homie. Yeah, you heard the shit with me and him? Uh, you got some shit with him? Yeah, Reagan era records, nigga. Dios Nagasi, RJ Payne, Chamber Music. Go peep that, man. Ominous from motherfucking Cleveland is, yeah, you know I mean, it's a whole situation. Go hear that, man. Yeah, I gotta listen to that. No, I've been knowing him for like, hey, you, you woke your ass up there. <laughs> I've, been, I've been knowing him for like, um. I knew him. I knew him when his name was Izzy for real. Like I was working with him. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, I, probably worked, him. I, I was working with him like in 2010. We used to put mixtapes out for him, and everything. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah you so I, I like, when I he like was that. Rain Man. What about Rain yep. Man? Yep. yep, but he was he was easy to be real before that and all that. Yeah, so um, because his manager used to be my homie, and we used to put out mixtapes and everything. So like, I see yeah. him. He deserved it, man. Cause he been grinding for a long time, for a long, long time. And that, and that nigga is not a joke on no yeah. level. He just be kind of like, I be like looking at it like, man, he think he's late as hell, but I'm glad he made, he got, he made it, but God damn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, late, hey, late, boy. It ain't hey. even like he's been doing this for a minute. Hey, you gotta be doing everything. You gotta, yeah. keep going. You gotta stay busy. You can't, you can't uh, depend on one thing no more. I, I know he, era. I know he kind of, I know, you know, people probably come at him like he's new. I know he like, yeah, ain't right. he Been around. Uh, RJ though, but at the end of the day, that nigga is regardless of where the fuck, whatever it is, you can listen to his material. That nigga's above oh, your top tier. Like that nigga's 
damn near. And may I be struck by lightning if I'm saying wrong. That nigga is like rock cam level. He got it. He tight. He been like that for a minute. And, he been grinding. And that, that nigga been burning niggas for a long time, man. I got nothing but respect for the nigga. Yeah, yeah, my nigga, hey, my nigga, my nigga Jag out there burning niggas too, man. Shout out to Chubby Jag, though. He out there getting it too, though. Real talk. Now, I see the song right now. I'm going to listen to it when we um, get off and check it out. Now, that's my, no, I'm saying like that ain't even like no, I ain't saying that on some rap shit. I'm like, that's my homie for real. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga, hey, uh, that nigga, he not a joke. Yeah. And what's your, um, social media and everything? Official Records.com. That'll take you to the website. Um, Official Reagan Era Records. Instagram. That'll take you to Instagram. Halo. OG Postal. OG Postal on Instagram. Uh, Dios Nagashi on Instagram. Got uh, Skrills Dior or Skrilla Skrills on Instagram. But for the most part, for the music, official Reagan era records. That's it, yeah. everything there. From the merch, to the music, to the video, and more. Shout out see the Illustrator again. Shout out Chamber Music again. Uh, Grand Official, can't forget them. And shout out Jerry Graham, you know what I mean? Jerry Graham, my Drody and niggas. Y'all yeah. already know, man. We gonna stay smacking niggas. And until the shit's whack, that's when we stop, nigga. When, nigga. when we put some shit together and this is completely whack, we won't put it out. That's what we, you won't hear from us no more. Yeah, y'all gonna just keep doing it, right? Yeah, that's man. So hey, we been doing it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's win, lose, or draw right here, man. You ever, you ever approach a nigga in the streets and a nigga tell you win, lose, or draw? You huh. know what that mean? That nigga ain't finna run nowhere. It's, it's got to go down. We didn't lose the draw. It's got to go down, and that's where we at with it. Uh, ain't no, ain't no discussion. Nigga. It's win, lose the draw, nigga. And yeah, we we run our own shit. We own our own shit. Nobody own us. Nobody tell us what to do. We do what the fuck we want to do, and we invest in what we want to invest in, and that's that. We got a hot album out. You listen to the album. I don't think you listen to the album, nigga. I ain't listen to it. Yeah, I gotta listen to it. Yeah, see, I can tell by the way you was looking. I know you ain't listen to it. That nigga, oh. you, you just smoke oh, over there. They got any. You just smoke that. You just smoke that weird weed. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke that weed from yeah. Bolivia, nigga. Nah, I yeah. listen to it. He, I listen to it like when he first gave it to me, but I ain't listen to. I ain't go back to it. But I already, you know, I've been. I know y'all. I did. I interviewed him three years ago, so I already know. Yeah. I, I know the sounds, man. I know y'all. Y'all got it. Real shit. Appreciate you, though, brother. All right, y'all. We out to the next time. Bing bong, nigga. Salute. Taking that records. Chambers.